welcome back to the upturned and whoa we uh really changed chapters huh okay what to do here sir what happened are you okay yes oh good it appears the elevator fell down miles great yes it is great sir but Digs up, isn't it? Guess I have to tell you. Probably guess, haven't you? What? The upturn in goes down, not up. Alright, I'm pulling my leg. Of course, you've noticed now my hotel has no windows to the outside. I'm sure you'll be able to hear the storm out there. It's getting louder than anything else. And these floor plans, there's thousands upon thousands that don't match up. How could the upturn in keep from toppling over? But it's hollow up there. There's no room above ground. It's all just for show. Everything happens underneath. All this is to say, Mr. Doe, you're actually quite lucky the elevator fell down so many miles. You've made so much progress, sir. Your luxury suite on floor 1434 has never been so close. Really, though, we should call it floor negative 1434. 1397. Where am I now? What is this? Trash? Where have you landed me now? It's so dark. I went into a circle. Those dead ends on all sides, I see. <laughs> sir, have you found the power plug on that floor yet? Yes! Hmm, sir, are you telling the truth? I'm not picking up any readings of a small electrical charge on that floor, meaning the power plug probably isn't there. This is quite lucky you happen upon a power plug in every single floor the elevator stopped on. The luck doesn't last forever unless you're really lucky, of course. Now what? I don't know, I guess you're doomed. I've got no ideas. I'll tell you what. Might want to think of something. I should return to the elevator. I can go up, actually. I knew I was ready. Ha ha ha! The things I've been collecting have now come into he- into- mm, How do I- Yeah. Oh, that's a maintenance tunnel. Not sure if you found anything in there. You can find anything in there. I might, you know. I don't know which way to go. Thor is on his rider and swiftly arriving. Let's go into the dark, creepy spot. Damn it. Get hit multiple times. Or not. Ah, it's also dark. Wrong about it all? <laughs> you are where? <laughs> I'm not crazy. You're blind. Don't... Chase me? I always got stuck in the ceiling. So I'm not quite sure... Sure where the return is. Is that the return? No, it's not. I am just lost. So what's in that door over there? There's status report, yes. 
and read up to the year 2037 on the document of all history. It says here that in April of 2037, the human race became aware of a large meteor. News was that in a year and three months, we would be hit directly by a rock five times the size of our planet. Sit, sir, do you think maybe that meteor is what killed you? No. No? Are you really, really sure? I died two years later. Oh. Phew, if you didn't die, that means they must have averted the crisis. And if you died in 2039, it can't be long at all before we learn that what killed you. I'm a fast reader. My eyeballs are swift. What is this? Let's go the way of the bones. Probably where the game wants me to go. Ah yes, we're not alone. That is what I am thinking. Is this what I'm supposed to be doing? Yep, it is. Down there, that's the trash. Yep. I found a fuse. I had a shit doing it back. came from the main is but I just gotta see. Oh, there's nothing here. Drinking. Probably everything in this corner right here. I just drinking. How do I get out of here? Oh God. I can just stack this high enough. Stacking as high as I can get it. Big things. Free. Was I not supposed to get out yet? Hmm. Have I broken the game? Up we go. I think I was supposed to do that.
Okay, man. I remember that way. Did you shut down one of our production plants? My endless supply of donuts and toy robots has dwindled. Yes. Ah, you're lucky the storm saved you from joining all the trash forever. What? You can hear me, cockroach. Can't you hear the thunder? Who is this? Ica Ichabod was not keeping just one secret. I am the deepest of all. You will know me soon, sleep sleeper, when I put you to rest. Hello, hello. What? What? Out of the trash area. Back to the thing. I have to go to the maintenance tunnels and all that. Nope. No thanks. I. This way. Yes, this way. Addy. Shit. Not my own. Ah, good. Get back in the corner. You're traveling. Floor complete. <sighs> K minus. I'm so close. What are we stopping at this time? Do you ever get this strange feeling that you're being watched? Shut up. I'm being watched by. Must be nothing. Yeah. Open the doors. Baby. Well. Just two months after the meter was discovered, the human race was already working together to find a solution. Uh-huh. With that many minds working together, they should have no trouble thinking of one. Surely, but surely. What'd you do with it? Oh, hey. Oh, puzzle, puzzle. Jump, jump. 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 Hey. Is this where I'm supposed to go? I have no idea. Oh, God. Hmm. Ah, shit. Take the leap. Sarah doesn't look like you can make that leap. Yes, I can. It's okay, sir. There's no need to be insecure about your tiny jump height. Anyway, I don't suppose you've learned the ancient practice of crow, crow taming. I actually patent my technique. I call it peck heck. Step one, find a crow. Step two, let it peck you to heck. And if you're not concussed and have at least 10 health points, the crow will see you as worthy and will take a perch on your hat. Wait well, until you return to the elevator, but your new feathered friend won't hurt you ever again. Just remember to let it stop for bathroom breaks. <laughs> That's it. How do you know all this? My father was a crow enthusiast. Knew everything there was to know about crows, even information the government keeps behind locked doors. <laughs> Well, you say that in mid fall.
Why are you hitting the bird too? I'm just curious as hell, you know? What's over here? Probably some chocolate. Good job, Birdie. Goes further. Okay, well, I'm definitely doing this in the way it's not intended to be. That's to take the leap right there. How long can you do this for? Hmm. I don't want to just be randomly in the middle of things. Let's just uh, do things normally, eh? To enjoy what the game has in store for me. I don't want to skip it. There we go, now we get music too. <laughs> this is where we go to take your bathroom break. bathroom I don't see a bathroom bird friend This is the part I skipped to. It's a duck gun!
There was more stuff here. It's opening. I hear a timer though. I didn't get too experienced. Go! Oh god, that was like, oh, I was so close. Give me a little bit of a scare. Oh, hey, I'm back. Bye, bird friend. Oh, did you, don't poop in the elevator. for bird yeah bird d13 teen 15 where what I think the guests on that floor are throwing a birthday party right as we speak how do you know because these guests always are, their lives are so short. I call them the little chucklers. I never have a chance to grow past the age of rebellious youth, so the only tradition they pass on through their many generations is the art of prank calling the hotel office. Are they dangerous? Oh, as long as you've got your trusty flashlight, there's really nothing to worry about there, sir. They are a little chuckly, but if you're in the dark with them, then they'll become little nibblers. Heck no. So there's really nothing to worry about, sir. You're big and they're little. Or you're not scared, are you? You can be. You, you can't be if you've gone this far. No, I'm not. That's the spirit. Open the doors. Now you're gonna turn up. Mmm, small doors. No. Sir, I hope you don't swell. The storm sure is. I think it just tore off a wall somewhere. There, if I had hair, it'd be standing up. My flashlight. So no, don't go in there. Let me turn on the light, er... There we are. Wander in there and keep your limbs attached, you need to take in a light. Give me that light. Damn you. I need a light. Didn't I see a TV? I saw a TV. There was a TV back here. I could use that. Pretty sure I saw a TV. Yeah. Fuck. Oh, this is even better. I have a lamp. Lamp. What are they? Like little spiders. Oh, happy birthday! Just gotta 
place it at the right spot. Ah, oh, you got smart. But I can get smarter. No. This is my light and you can't stop me. Damn it, I will make it go through. Listen here, man. You gotta just get in there. Okay, fine. I accept defeat. I don't have a key. I just wanna get a key. For those rascals will yoink that hat of yours if they get the chance. Troublemakers. That consists of everyone pizza and human souls. Circled it. Another puzzle? Hmm. A vase in the middle. A lamp. Ah, oh, God. So lamps last. What else we got here? Pizza. Hmm, pizza's on the right. Are there any pizza around here? Need to go into the dark and get some pizza. on the left lamp is on the left pizza key has been obtained here we go all the way back around the human race already found a solution to the gigantic meter problem they're working on it now i mean they were we're just catching up on history Aren't we behind history? <laughs> da 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 da. I have no lamps. It's just traveling. I oh got moving light. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday. with me I don't feel like fighting you I did it man good job I oh, know oh hey it's you 
Have some pizza. Oh, he, he ate the pizza. All right, cool. So he likes pizza. Um, got a bit of a conundrum here, buddy. I don't have any light. My lamp is gone. It seems to be broken. What to do? Oh, this way. Okay. I'll miss you, buddy. Do you play fetch with whatever the hell this is? No. Until next time. Oh, are you coming in this time? Yeah! He's so cute. I don't know what it is, but it's adorable. It's like a dog. I have a friend now. This is great. Oh, look, he's a rubby. Sir, is there something in the elevator with you? No. Oh my, is that strip? Yeah. He seems to like you. Please be nice for your own sake. Always been nice to shrimp. I've never heard an animal like thing. Anyway, sir, status report on that meteor which was hurling towards Earth in 2037. Yes. In this time of prosperity and peace, the human race came together to build an ultra mega nuclear power plant double the size of Australia. What? Their plan to split the meteor into tiny pieces. Like a meatball when it gets crushed between your teeth, conquered, vanquished, never to see the light of day again. <laughs> There, there they would house and construct the biggest, fattest, chunkiest, thickest bomb known to man. Capable of destroying planets far greater than our own. It would make even Saturn tremble. It says here they appropriately named this mega nuke Big Boy. And just so it wouldn't backfire, they backed up the Big Boy nuclear, nuclear plant with the m most cutting edge quantum computers and intelligent AI capable of reacting in into instantaneously to any core malfunction. There's 10 pages about it here. Sorry, I'm so proud of what humanity has become since we put all our minds together. We're really unstoppable about that. Mr. Doe, do I sense woo in your voice? Sir, how could humanity fail now? They have solved world hunger. They've achieved world peace. They've re re reversed aging. They can fly and breathe underwater. They're doing everything right. <laughs> this meteor might as well be a beauty beat ball. <laughs> anyway, I'll get back to you when I've read more. What about my death? You, you didn't mention my death. 41427. What? Oh, that's right. Hey, buddy. I don't think I need this. Thing. Well, I keep it as a souvenir. Oh, so we went from them being tiny to me being tiny. Oh, I can carry the chair. Can I ride you? No? Oh, okay, fine. If I find any pizza, I'll feed you. I have a friend. Hmm. Oh. Ah, fast side is still broken. Okay. Can I open the fridge? Yeah, yeah. <gasps> and it's blue! Ah, perfect! I was like, go for edibles, okay? You can't not say he's cute. He looks adorable. Excuse me. I have a dog with me. He bites. I hope. Oh. Oh. Shit. Or that's like guys. This looks like food. Man, you like that one. I, I want to see this way first before y'all go and do that. 
Any food? I'm trying to feed my pet. Giant TV! But no food. Let's go, boy. I'll find you some food somewhere. I have my weapon. I will protect my dog. We got a big piece. Here we go. Mm hmm. And we got a. We got. And we got a small piece. Uh, double hits. Hmm. Where am I supposed to go now? Ah, over there. I was about to make the jump. You will have no choice but to fight. Fight what? Rib cages get back when, when you hear the scream. I thought you wanted me dead. Why are you trying to help me? Yeah. How you gonna get? Okay, maybe he'll find another way in. I have no light. What are you worried about? Oh, it's so tiny. How was you making that noise? It's so tiny. Food for my friend. Oh, they're trying to hunt. No. The fools are trying to fall. Ah, this is so fallen. Four, five, six. Yeah, I have a friend. I have two friends now. I took damage, but that's okay. I have a bird friend. Red. Walking to me menacingly. I'll stay in there. I could fly over him. Though. 
got away from the big tall guy. Maybe there's another big tall guy. There's another one! Damn it! Okay, didn't do it as I wanted to. Ah. Ha 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 I'm in pain. Ah, okay. Let's get out of here. Ah, oh, hi. You were just waiting here for me? Okay. Put a collar on strip. You know it! Best friend. B plus. Yes, Rip. Hello. Hey, buddy. How you doing? He's a very. What happened? Opening the doors. Where am I at? 1429 like right before my floor my flashlight is still dead oh he's hungry oh no oh no we can talk about this let me feed you oh god he has teeth Sir, is something wrong? I hear boss music. <laughs> yes! What? I can't hear you. Ah! Sir, what's happening down there? <laughs> sir, is shrimp getting hungry? Yes. I can't hear you. Did you say yes? Just throw stuff in his mouth. His diet is very flexible. He'll, he'll eat anything. Really? Shrimp, stop. Halt. Yield. Are we good? Good. No. A door. He ate a door. He ate a couch. Well, uh, you, you must be super hungry, so let's just give you everything. Hmm, you're listening to. All right. Uh, see what else we can give you. Uh, some plates. <laughs> Chair too. Yeah. These boxes. A table. Potted plant. Another box. Trash. You are a great garbage disposal. A uh, table. Uh, this thing. That thing. That thing. That. 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 Door. Uh, let's go this way. I have a door. You get hungry quickly, don't you? I was trying to hit the bird with that. Eat the bird. How about explosion? That one must taste good. I should I should take something with me. I guess you get hungry again. I'll take a box. Take a box with me. No, 
Oh, I healed you. That's funny. Ah, nice one. Key. I don't remember where no key thing was. I can just outrun shrimp. That wish was thinking. Oh yeah, he's hungry. Oh good lord. I'm sorry here. Long though, because shrimp's hungry. Okay, man, you're eating a bit too much. Okay, run. Start running so fast, I'll be able to let him down. Does that kill me one hit? Ah, it does. That's rough. Hey, 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 hey. Bad boy. Stop being hungry. Stop it. Eat the fill of your boxes and be good.
Good lord, it's not being hungry. Wait! Are you good now? Oh, he's hungry. Trip is hungry. A minus. Oof. Man, wanted some food. Sure, don't be sad. Trim didn't hate you. He was just hungry, I know. He was just hungry. Hey, 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 hey. Clean the doors. Ay, 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 ay. Y'all are just... You're, you're, you're killing out of hand now. Grabbed it out of nowhere, what? That escalated quickly. Oh shit, now I'm running. I'm running for you. There's a bunch of stuff in my floor right now. In my elevator. I, I, I got one chocolate bar, whatever. Y plus. Cause why not? You should be running up on my floor now. Ah, I get chairs I don't want. 1433. What, what floor am I supposed to be going to again? I don't remember. Hmm. Gonna call me? Yep. Sir? Yes. Remember, big boy, the mega nuke we built to splinter the meteor before it hit Earth? Yes. Yeah, uh, because you were alive back then, I keep forgetting what this is all for. To find out how you died! Still, I'll tell you how it all occurred, as you may not know the details. Big Boy was entering its final stage as the human race was preparing to launch. Quadruple checking all the systems were ready. And a massive solar flare hit Earth directly from the sun. It jammed all electronics. Satellites began to plummet from the sky in droves, like falling stars. A chunk of metal debris, which had been floating in space for 60 years, finally fell back to Earth. And it just happened to land on our mega nuclear power plant. And exploded. Why, no, of course not. Big Boy was protected from some falling trash. The human race isn't that dumb. Still, this caused a steam explosion in one of our nuclear plants, leading to a meltdown. 
Paris was quickly, expertly put under control in 15 minutes flat by thousands of professionals while working in t tandem. No lives lost, no damage done. So, then and at the same time, an un unprecedented volcano rushed in an earthquake occurred. <laughs> Sir, do you think that's what killed you? No. Sir, the earthquake alone was the greatest disaster we had ever known. I was, it was a category 12. You don't think you could have just dozed off? I lived. Oh, after that, coincidentally, our planet was hit by an intense, concentrated gamma ray burst from a distant star. Coincidentally. I remember what I said about luck. Good luck can't last forever unless you're really lucky. I almost thought, thought we were. Then the gamma ray burst tore a hole in our atmosphere, exposing our planet to the sun's radiation, like a bald man taking his hat off at the beach. Want to know what happened next? Yes. Big boy explodes. Oh, boy. The earth was nearly cracked in two. The skies were bloated out by a poisonous protonical smog. Giant endless firestorms raged even across the Pacific and the Atlantic. There were a few deaths, sir. That must be what killed you. Oh. Ah, sir, you must be pulling my legs. I lived. Both of them? <laughs> you must really be indestructible with it. How did you get to the afterlife? Anyway, I guess this explains why no one else has visited the upturned end since you walked in. I think my job at the front desk might be over. <laughs> Looks like I have a countable number of pages left to read of the history of the universe. I think it's funny to hold that in my hands. It's funny. But since we don't have much time left, would you like to hear the story of my death? How did you die? Okay, buckle up. It's a st it's story time. Ah. Damn, so I was a handsome team, a strapping lad in the prime of my life. I had been at a party thrown by a friend who lived alone up on a mountain in his father's mansion, down the road behind our school. Hardly anyone came but me and my other friend. It was great. Was no one else invited? Everyone was invited, but there was this rumor in our town of a possessed trucker that circled around that mountain. He was said to be looking for... Blood. Yes, actually, now I remember the story went that his truck's only fuel was human blood. Pretty metal, huh? I was scared of the stories, but I'd gone up there many times to see my friend, and he wasn't afraid of the mountain. You couldn't be if you lived up there. I got a ride home from my dad that night. He drove so fast, I always held onto my seat. There was fog, and our old Japanese headlights barely worked. We got halfway down the mountain. That was when he kicked me out. Why? That's... Not important to the story. <laughs> I've forgiven him for it now. Actually, I think I would have thanked him for it. Anyway, I could barely see him. My breath hung in the air. Did I mention it was winter? I spent an inter eternity walking down that mountain in the pitch dark. Thought about a lot of things. Well, mostly about a, a crush I had on someone that I hadn't told yet. And I got to see the stars in full force in the lonely night sky. At some point, nearly blind in the dark, I stumbled off the road and caught a perfect view of our town. Not a clearing in the trees from a... From up here was a glimmering painting. The mountain was so steep I could lie down and watch the stars and see my town all at once. I could have lied there forever, but then dark clouds rolled in. I was about to get soaked. So I got up and started running down the road. When I was about half, almost off the slope of the mountain, two lights burst into view and raced towards me. I was blinded. You got run over. No, maybe I would have, but I was too quick. I leaped to the side of the road. A rusty semi-truck pulled up beside me. The door lurched open. I saw the barrel of a shotgun, but it was dark in the driver's seat. Shadowed from the moon, I, I heard a voice. It said, Any last words? Yes, it growled. Any last words? I was already pale and trembling from the bitter cold, but now I was pale and trembling double. It was beginning to rain, and a crazy wind was picking up, turning this way and that, gathering up the pine needles off the road and tossing them into my face. What do you think I did, Mr. Doe? Hmm... You screamed for help. Doesn't matter. Just then a giant pine fell and crushed me into one dimension. <laughs> so you didn't die from the shotgun, but you died from a tree. You got crushed by a tree? Yep. That's, that tree turned me into a, an ick pancake. And that's the story of my death. I'm clapping for you. Yes, yes. I know it's an amazing tale. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Your luxury suite is on floor 1434. Just one, just one down from here. Why you look sad?
You're sad that our adventure is almost over. Why are we back at a water stage? Better not have a swimming slug again. My flashlight is still broken. I wish to file a complaint. Hmm. Hello. I come with good tidings. And I break your vases too. All of your vases die. This one too. Get back to work. I'm watching you. You better not. What do you want? Sir, wait. I found the fuse. I know, but you know what happens every time you find the fuse? Yes, shit happens. All hell breaks loose. And I have a bad feeling about this floor. Has anything attacked you yet? No. See, it's all going to happen when you grab the fuse. I suggest you look around for anything you could use to protect yourself. Or, maybe nothing will break through that suspiciously cracked wall and I won't scream run like a squeaky toy. That would be unexpected, wouldn't it? But it's better to be safe, sorry, or something like that. Cracked wall. Ah, I see. Yeah, th yeah, I, I could see. I see the problem. Hmm. TV is bad for you, sir. Why are you so close? Here. There. Is that better? I need to plan my escape. This is a fake door. I can't go this way. I would have died if I went that way. This is nothing but chocolate. I would have died if I went that way. What is this? This is a damn dead end. No, I just have to go back the way I came. What's that? No! I hear candy. For you. Hmm. If I go this way. Here. Thank you. So there it is. Yeah, it's a straight path. I can make it a little easier for me to jump on things. this couch all right here we go plan the perfect escape all right I'm ready now Mr. Huggy, what are you doing here? Good lord, y'all just went all out. No! No! That is a problem. I think you're done, Mr. Huggy. Yay, a souvenir. No more, Mr. Huggy. I got two chocolate bars. Look, look what, look what you have done. I didn't do that. He did that, and it's not my problem. Nor is it my fault. 
It's my souvenir, though. No, I want souvenir. Yeah. Me, Mr. Huggy. I'm trying playing with his head right now. What do you want? Sir? Yes? I was going to read about how you died on my own, but I want to read it with you. There are not many pages left. Okay. Oh, yes. Okay. Um, here we go. It looks like humanity was prepared even for the explosion of Big Boy. Just a scenario, we had already spent the past 30 years constructing gigantic city-sized networks of secure underground bunkers. We stockpiled enough food to fill all our bellies for a whole year. Sorry, it mentions you here. It says you were on the front lines organizing the evacuation. Mr. Shido, that's you. It says here there were still 4 billion left alive on planet Earth. Maybe this isn't the end of us. Three months passed. Humanity began to rebuild Big Boy, still racing against time to stop that mega meteor, which would arrive in one year then. Alarms rang out as hungry life forms began to invade the biggest city bunkers. We called these outsiders. In the fallout of Big Boy, packs of irradiated wild boars and biological link to form large amagam creatures. Like, like if you turn a bunch of pigs into a soup, then that pig soup spread the legs and arms and started attacking you with the force and rage of a dozen pigs blended into one. <coughs> what the heck? Cool. These monsters were capable of breaking into less secure bunkers and stealing the most vulner vulnerable while they slept. Wrenching them up into the darkness outside before anyone knew it. A large percentage of the population was picked off by the outsiders as sickness and panic spread through the underground bunker networks. Sir, do you think you could have been eaten by one of the outsiders before you died? Did you hear a monstrous squeal? Did you feel a cold presence? Was there a smell of rotten pork? I kept a shotgun. Well, anyway, then a super-sized meter hit in a year late- year- uh, hit a year ahead of schedule. What? These are some unlucky humans. The whole time there was another meteor coming from the other directs- Hold it! Now we have two? But we never saw it coming. We were too distracted by the first one. Sir, do you think maybe you were killed in the impact? When you died, did you feel like you'd been thrown off your feet? I lived. Wow, you're a fighter. Well then, it says Earth was split into three pieces, one of which flew straight into the sun within about ten minutes. What about that, Mr. Doe? Before you died, did you feel your skin melting off your bones like a snowman? A snowman with bones? No. Then there was only a handful of the human race left alive. Ah, it says your name here again. There you are, one of the nine humans left alive. Good lord. Just a team of scientists holding out in a, in a seed vault deep under underneath a mountain and one man taking cover in his bunker home. You held out for a whole year alone and then... What? What? Then you died. Do you want me to tell you? I tripped and fell. No, none of those. It was spontaneous combustion. Sorry, sir. While you slept, you caught on fire at the whim of a chem uh, chemistry and chance. But hey, on the right side, you didn't do anything wrong. Wait, does that make it better? I'm sorry, Mister. I guess your death was just a l just as lousy as mine. Hi. Uh, I have to tell you. I can't hear you. Sir, I think we're losing connection. The storm is blis blistering again, and you're too far down. Where you go, I have to say something quickly. Goodbye. And goodbye. Sir! Okay, well, we're at my stop. Sweet 1434, I think. 1434. I can finally relax in my hotel and it was, is this all for me? It's my room. Alright! Finally! But the guys, there's a boss spot on the other side. What kind of bullshit is this? I've, I've been locked in. Hmm. This is troubling. Can't. Hello, hello. Who are you? I am Mr. Saab, the constructor, the manager, the producer, the supplier. Not. 
that Mr. Iko is merely my representative. He made the upturn in a reality, then I turned it into a dream. I promised his safety, I promised to make his hotel last forever, all that in exchange for ownership. He lied to me? Now this hotel is mine to grow into infinity, like a wheeze root taking a hold of the earth. There will always be vacancy, every room will be someone's tomb. And the hotel's capacity without limit. Hello, hello. Oh, are you mocking me? You found that this hotel in the afterlife wasn't heaven, but you descended anyway? You've always held a, a reservation deep down here. Everyone makes their own. I'm really fulfilling what, what your heart demands. You want rest from the storm, rest from all this chaos and wind, and there's no shelter from the weather but down here. Yes, down down here you're safe from chance. Chance which threw down all of all your victories. Which sent you three cosmic disasters like they were another postcard. Honestly, yeah. Random chance which burnt you to a crypt for all the good you've done. There's nothing else to blame. Here you'll have no chance. When I crush and burn you into little dancing embers just as you like, you'll have no chance. I'll even leave it up to you. Would you like to be shaped into a mouth with arms or a giant slug? Or an angry crow? Or would you like to be melted into a beautiful pane of glass? Hmm. Oh yeah, make, make me do a pane of glass. You're surprisingly cooperative. Very well then. <laughs> I'm going to burn and smash you to the embers and make them dance. That's, I said make me to a pane of glass. You ready? This should feel familiar to you, Mr. Doe. Hmm. You like your luxury suite? Oh boy. Still alive. Ay, yeah, 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 yeah. Still alive. Yay. What is happening in there? Why can't it have, have malfunctioned? Never mind. Stay in the corner. Stay in the corner. Stay in the corner. I don't have a flashlight. Come on, guys. No, what is it? What is this? It's that storm, that cursed storm. Good boy. Good. Good boy. Good boy. That, there's nothing up there. How did you? I'm walking now. Okay. Come back. I mean, I could go back, but I don't like the idea of being burned. All roads lead back here. I'm sure. I'm sure I could. I could go deeper. Don't press these those buttons. Buttons. Where am I going? Oh, I'm going back. You know I have your best interest in mind. Shh. Sure. That's not even my name. I'm not some kind of monster. I use your first name because I'm a friend. Mr. Go ne never used your first name. I mean, you're right, but... Your room is better than whatever you'll find out there. I don't know. I like the idea of storms. You're not going to listen, are you? No? I'd never kill you, but I could pound you into almost nothing. I could never treat them fully. And I can feel the storm. Why can't I feel the storm? I thought if I went down far enough, I'd be free from it. I could still- I could stay still. But that thunder rumbles down through all these floors like the cold chills of bone. I can never treat them fully. No one really dies in the afterlife. I can never close their eyes. I can mash them into dust, but 
those beauty white pearls always remain. They're indestructible, so bright, seeing everything. This is a big scam. I can never die. I can never be safe. I can hear the other. It must be like the sewer was again. I chose to lead us outside and leave lost and afraid. We can never be safe. Not from ourselves. Not when we last forever. We're all the most accustomed to it. There's no permanent. There's a. Arr, this place is a mess. What have you done, man? I mean, he tried to stop it. I'm going upstairs. Screw you guys. Hmm. Well, all good things must come to an end. Is that the ending? Oh good, I was about to say. Sir, is that you? Are you alive? Yes. Ah. That's great news. I'm sorry, I tried to tell you about Mr. Sub, but I waited too long and we lost connection. He's the real owner of the hotel now. I gave it all up a long time ago. That was a mistake, but I don't want it now anyway. I pretended the upturn in was a normal hotel after he turned it into some kind of death trap. I turned a blind eye, as they say. Haha. <laughs> On the bright side, do you remember the friendship survey I forced you to take? Yes. Well, you passed. <laughs> Congratulations, Mr. No. <laughs> this is a spontaneous occasion. Shame I left my party poppers at my desk. I haven't been outside in that life for, for some 40 years. Now I feel like a kid who ran outside to see the fireworks. Finally decided I'd rather wander out here than be in, be in that rotten building. I've lied to myself about it too long. Where are you? There's trees, and I wandered by a rusty theme park ride, half sunken in, uh, in the dirt. Must have been there for a hundred years. I guess someone else thought this place needed some entertainment. Ah! I'll scream back with you. No, I don't hear you. I don't think we're going to, to knock into each other e e <laughs> either, Mr. Doe. Anyway, I finished reading the document of all history. When I got to the present time, I saw the document was writing itself. Paper was growing to make more space. I wish I could have done that on my math homework. <laughs> I read about the last group of humans on that sliver of earth. Three young scientists huddled together in a seed vault built deep within a mountain. Want to know what happened to them? I read it as, as it all took place. Yes. They stayed alive for a few weeks, then two of them got into an argument over who had dibs on a bag of chips. Oh, it's the fucking chips. Was it barbecue? Which spiraled into murder. They both died. It, oh, and what about the last human alive? She tripped and hit her head. Can't believe it. Not how I thought the human race would go out, but I'm not sure what I expected. You taking shots now? With the way, by the way, I was reading. Shrimp snuck his way out through the elevator shaft, barked at me, and bounded out through the broken window. I guess he's free now because of you. Something about that thing's eyes reminded me of the first guest that ever checked into the upturned inn. What a time ago that was. I guess that's it then. We know how you and I and the human race all came to an end. It seems to me like the curtain's closing. But with the end of all human life on Earth and this sudden raging storm in the afterlife, like this is the end of time. Mr. Doe, did you learn anything from your life on Earth? Yes. Oh, I guess I learned I should believe in rumors about haunt, ha haunted truckers. What a hubbub. The human race did all it could, and look what it got. A bad luck sundae with a nasty cherry on top, except instead of vanilla ice cream, it's probably just a heap of mayonnaise or shaving, or shaving cream. Hi. You're asking me? I don't think there's anyone to blame for it. Sometimes it rains and pours. 
What do we do now that we've lost it all? Ah, the forest is going quiet. Where am I? I feel like I should whisper. The sky darkened and the trees are all bent in one direction. It's almost like they're bowing down. I can't see you anymore. Oh, good heavens. What? My shadow just ran away and jumped into the bushes. Silly thing. And I feel something big approaching this way. Maybe you should run? Sir, I can barely hear you. I don't think there's any use running or hiding. I've wasted my whole life hiding. Maybe I'll just say hello. Sorry, sir, I might have to put you on hold. I think there's not much time left. Or there's something we don't know about. Something deeper than the, than the upturn. Maybe it's been borrowing towards us from the, from, from the beginning. When I was alive, when I was scared of the dark at night, I would watch the water heater that stood outside my bedroom. It was towering and, Im and immovable. Like, like a water heater. I would listen to it gurgling and humming as my heart beat loud in my ears. And I'd pretend it was a train chugging really fast. A train that didn't need a track. Bulldozing through the trees and mountains. I don't know if it helped. Well, anyway, the forest sounds a lot like my room right now. Maybe it's doing that on purpose. Oh. That's even brighter than my collection of strub lights. Sorry, sir. Our lions are busy at the moment. I think I'm going to have to put you on hold until next time. This is how it ends. Love how it just sways. Are you dancing? Let's go. Surely there's somewhere to return to. Or not. Well, one could always hope. I can still jump! He's gonna start throwing credits at me. Ooh! Yeah. Go, Mug! Be free! That bitch is gone. I'm going a different direction this time. A new way of life! What will this path lead me to? Find out after I slowly and eventually get there. I see some stuff. A light. This was a very unique game. Stop turning my lights off. That I'm taking this thing. Is that a. It won't let me cut across, so I have to go this way. It's building for dramatic effect. Let's go shopping. <laughs> I brought you a shopping cart. Ungrateful. I'll put this light over here. All the music has stopped. Wait, am I going back to the train? I think I'm going back to the train. I like checkpoints. I have no flashlight. I can't see. Excuse me? I have many questions. I have many questions. Caught by the morning. Was that the end? The upturned. That was the end. Oh, that was a good game. You're dead, buddy. I have your head as my collection. Well, the game pretty much took the outro for me. That was the upturn, and that's my amazing dog. Thanks to my early testers, Peoples. Yes, hello. Okay, so we're gonna skip this and see if there's any... To my mom and dad for cheering me on. To the pandemic for getting me out of school. <laughs> to you for playing. Hey, you're the guy who made Lethal Company, so I was I was expecting good things from this. 
The bonus floors are now available. But they were available before, though. Click the chocolate bars in each floor to unlock the bonus version. Bonus levels through the floor select screen. They are marked by empty st stars. I won't be doing them. There is no reward for completing the bonus levels. There's probably no story either. Or there might be. But, if that's something you want to see, you have to let me know. Because this game literally just started over. Y'all remember this? It only lets you put in a few letters. If you were wondering about that, that's how it made the name. A few letters. And then there was no yes or no. And we're back! But that is the end of the upturned. Bye bye.